Not sure why I've been putting it off so long, but this winch has just been sitting here useless because I never hooked it up. So I finally took the time today, it took me like less than a half hour to do this, and I wired it up. This little four channel remote right now. D and C don't do anything, but they will be for the two different air horns. So we got press A and tightens up the winch. B loosens it up. Show you how I did this here. This is the control box right here. It looks kind of like the 12 channel one just with four relays and a whole lot smaller. So those are my power inputs from the battery, fused of course, and that I used tap splices. I didn't use the ground but it was there because I was going to have two different remote control units in here. But anyways, I used the positive. These are, the relays have like normally open and normally closed channels so you have A, B, C and your middle one is just like your common then depending on which other screw you hook it to depends on you know whether it's going to be on when you push the button or whether it's going to turn it off when you push the button so channel A and B are the ones over on this corner so it goes A, B, C or A, B, C A, B, C so I have a positive wire putting power to A and then a little little tiny jumper wire that puts positive power to A on channel A and then this wire here that's stuck behind there it goes back to the winch so when you push one of these buttons it puts positive power to either one of these two wires and sends it back to the uh, which you can kind of see it's really dirty but runs right along my airlines and then it goes into the frame right there it's really dirty but goes into the frame and then it pops out right back in there and then I already had old vacuum cleaner wire going inside the uh, control box and it, this was like a really easy um, thing to do you just take apart your control box and on top here you have a plug to plug in the old control you just take a jumper wire and figure out which ones are positive and then which two it feeds they just hook those up to whichever two it feeds. In mine, there was a green wire, a black wire, and a white wire, I think. And the black and white wire were the ones that you had to put positive to in order to make the winch go in or out, depending on which one you put power to. So now I just gotta zip tie that up. We're all set to do some winching. Now that I have it on a circuit breaker instead of a fuse, if it blows, it's a whole lot easier to reset it and, you know, because that got annoying.